Welcome to the Industry Insights session on Tiffin Talks. Today, we will talk about an industry that has been most severely affected because of the COVID onslaught. But with every crisis comes a great opportunity. An opportunity to pivot, an opportunity to reinvent, and to change the rules of the game. We have with us an elite panel consisting of Mr. Vikas Suri, Director Kitchen Rama, Gautam Kumar, Partner at Keystone Solutions, Raminder Bakshi, Founder Art Culinaire and The Breaking Lab, Sid Mathur, Founder Director of Secret Ingredient, and Shyam Mathur, our very own Momo King. Shyam Thakur. <laughs> for, the next, for the next hour or so, they will be discussing about cloud kitchens and whether it will prove as the magic bullet for, the, for a beleaguered F&B industry. And the session will be <coughs> moderated by none other than Mr. Saurish Bhattacharya, a truly gifted food writer and a noted hospitality sector analyst. Over to you, Saurish. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, uh, Pavan. Um... Today, we are actually, uh, uh, the subject of a conversation is the, the new buzzword in the industry. Wherever you go, whoever uh, uh, you talk to, everyone's talking about uh, the, uh, the, um, the cloud kitchens. In fact, yesterday, uh, I was having uh, one, uh, a Zoom call with someone, and Raminder Bakshi was in the background. Poor guy could not join us on the Zoom call because he, was, uh, he had been caught hold of by some restorators who wanted to know how to start a uh, cloud kitchen and the mechanics of starting a cloud kitchen. So, so I had to conduct this conversation um, with uh, Raminder's uh, contact and friend uh, by ourselves. So the, uh, the, the cloud kitchen is a new um, uh, new buzzword, as I said, and there's lots to learn about it. I mean, we need to, uh, I think, not get too excited about it, yet there are a lot of, uh, it has lots of potential, which we should not uh, sort of, uh, Ignore. I mean, we can only ignore anything new and different at a risk. Uh, so uh, I will, uh, I think, begin our uh, discussion with the youngest member of the panel uh, and uh, also someone uh, who's uh, making waves with his momos, you know. He's the momo king of Delhi. Uh, the, so Sham Bhai, Sham Thakur, uh, he a very says, uh, interesting story. Uh, from Gorakhpur to Singapore <laughs> to Hong Kong, uh, Malaysia, and now in, in Delhi, NCR. Uh, he, he's, he's spread his wings all over. Simple man, but with, uh, with a sharp uh, head for uh, business. Uh, so, Shamji, I was asking you cloud kitchen. You are already Momo King outlets. So, cloud kitchen is a very good idea. Sir, the cloud kitchen is a very good idea. Of course, it is a very good idea. 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 It is a very good आते थे टेक्वे लेते थे तो वहीं से कॉन्सेप्ट दिल में बैठ गया था कि कुछ आउटलेट करने के बाद हम लोग डिलीवरी मॉडल में ही जाएंगे और अभी तो कोरोना के चलते तो दूसरा कोई ऑप्शन रह भी नहीं गया कोरोना ने बहुत सारे चीजें खराब किया लेकिन एक अपॉर्चुनिटी भी दिया है जैसे अब इंडस्ट्री तो बहुत सारा इफेक्ट हुए हुए हैं तो अब इसमें प्रॉब्लम तो हो गई है सोल्यूशन क्या है इसकी बंद तो कर सकते नहीं है अपने जो लॉयल कस्टमर उनको तो हम लोग कहीं जाने देना भी नहीं चाहते हैं हमारे साथ रहे हैं जैसे वो हमसे लोयल है अजा ब्रांड हम भी उनसे लोयल होना जरूरी है और उसके बाद अभी जो इंडस्ट्री का वेब है जो आने वाले पांच छह महीने साल भर जो भी कि अभी पिडिक नहीं कर सकते हैं तो उसमें तो सस्टेन होने के लिए भी क्लाउड किचन बहुत अच्छा एक मॉडल है सर क्योंकि इसमें हमारा सबसे पहले तो आपको तो मालूम होगा रेस्टोरेंट में आउटलेट चलाने में सबसे ज्यादा जो खर्चे हमारे होते हैं ऑपरेशन कस्ट के होते हैं रेंटल के होते हैं तो अब इस चीजें में जब डाइनिंग जीरो है अभी लोग जाना भी नहीं पसंद करते हैं अभी करेंगे भी इनकरेज भी नहीं हो रहे हैं क्योंकि सेफ्टी मेटर्स सेफ्टी कम फर्स्ट सो इस वजह से सर कि उसका जो अब सोल्यूशन क्या है तो एक उनके साथ रहना भी है उनको उनका अपना टेस्ट देना भी है रेगुलरली तो क्लाउड किचन एक अच्छा आइडिया है सर इसलिए क्लाउड किचन में आ रहे हैं is a restaurant consultant whom a lot of people uh, seek out, you know, and this is among his many clients, uh, there are uh, cloud kitchens uh, and successful cloud kitchen brands. Uh, 
uh, and uh, so my question to him is uh, why do you think uh, our uh, people say people you know a lot of them are not restaurateurs uh, but they've gone into cloud kitchen directly and what has been their experience so far uh, what we have uh, seen is uh, once you enter into this cloud kitchen model the best thing what's happening is uh, is a low opex cost but uh, it uh, what we have seen is uh, one more thing is it needs to be entered uh, the field needs to be entered with the complete working capital also so our experience has like we have opened more than 100 uh, cloud kitchen um, uh, as of now in all over india and out of that around there are 30 big chains now mm. okay so uh, main thing is what people are opening is if uh, like if i am planning to open a cloud kitchen now i am thinking i'll be getting the sales from day one mm. which is not happening so it has to be uh, done with proper conventional proper business model and you should have at least 6 to 8 months working capital right so if for right. A, yeah so for example if simple dish like butter chicken if i am making the best of the butter chicken but if i have to ship to you mm. to my brand so it will take 4 to 6 months because you have been eating all the mughal mails and moti mails mm. for the mm. last i don't know 10 15 20 years mm. so that's what will happen so how to, how to you know this customer acquisition yeah. As they say, it's the biggest challenge uh, yes. for um, uh, you know non-branded uh, uh, you know um, uh, cloud kitchens. You know, uh, say uh, I, okay. In the case of Sham, it was a reverse. Like there was too much uh, he could. Uh, there was too much to handle in Malaysia, so he thought let's start a delivery model to uh, to uh, sort of complement uh, that uh, in-room dining model. But in your case, we have people who are just launching themselves with the delivery model. So what is the cost, customer acquisition cost uh, for a delivery model? See, when I say working capital, when I uh, will mention working capital, this includes the customer acquisition also. Right. And to acquire customer, you need minimum to four to six months. Because you are shifting your loyal customer from, for example, X brand, who is the best in dim sums. And right. you are selling your own dim sums. So it means, until unless you because uh, until unless somebody tells you have you tried those dim sum ya unka butter chicken khaya hai whatever so you will not ship yeah. so social media presence personal recommendations yeah. are, create a major role I, like right. whatever financials are saying like in, in uh, 2019 cloud kitchens did a business of 400 million dollars wow. in india okay. right. and which we which we are estimating will go up to 2 billion dollars Right, right. 2024. Right, right. So it, which, which includes DIY kits and other things also. Right, right. Because people will be shifting. But yes, you can't do away with restaurants, which are still right. a big symbol for social gathering and right. for celebrations. That's right. So uh, Sid uh, Siddharth Mathur, uh, who uh, again has uh, created lots of brands and has uh, created um, some of the uh, some of the real fun and fine restaurants of Delhi as uh, social and uh, smokehouse Delhi being uh, the more recent ones. Uh, I think everyone knows about social and everyone loves social. Um, now, uh, Sid, uh, what has been, I mean, you, you're also uh, associated with what I call standalone delivery models. You know? And I think one of the biggest uh, success stories you have seen is, I think, Sushi House, isn't it? Um, uh, uh, and so what is uh, what has been your experience why do some delivery models succeed and why don't uh, some uh, I mean it's not that every cloud kitchen does very well all the time well I mean that's a, a interesting question because there's it's there's a lot of there's a lot of um, inferences in there so I think that also I think what people are feeling that the cloud kitchen is the holy grail of food but it's really not at the moment right so um, the cloud kitchen comes with its own set of issues and challenges and, and problems. And eventually it's down to the business dynamics, you know? So mm -hmm. we get asked a lot in terms of like, Oh, I, I want to move my restaurant to uh, a cloud kitchen. And, and that is the solution for everything, but it isn't because um, it's a little bit more complex. So for example, um, right now, everybody's pivoting, right? Mm -hmm. Everyone is pivoting into a, a different role um, mm -hmm. because the current situation is affecting everyone. So it comes down to eventually the business dynamics and, for restaurants to pivot to cloud kitchens is a little bit easier and looking at delivery because, you know, um, 
relative to what their cost uh, is, it's it's a little bit. It's of course there's a cost uh, benefit for them, and of, of course the uh, uh, the rent and labor arbitrage. So immediately it becomes you know a little bit easier. Um, but at the same time, I think that what we don't know is that cloud kitchens are also pivoting. A lot of cloud kitchens are scaling down. A lot of cloud kitchens, some of them are even shutting down because for them, with their the, when when they started, their business dynamics were different. So they're also pivoting, but they're pivoting to now maybe DIYs or they they're doing a uh, uh, diet plans, schedule meal plans, you know, they're doing a different things. So, um, I mean, I guess in, in conclusion, we are, we're on a kind of a roller coaster, but we just, everybody's on the same roller coaster, just we're all sitting in different places. So, um, you know, and as far as delivery goes, you mentioned Sushi House, which is, you know, one of my colleagues' um, uh, restaurants. Um, they, if, whether it's Sushi House or Asian House or Domino's or Rebel Foods, you see that everybody is losing at the moment, right? They, I mean, everyone's down from 30 to 60 percent of their business. So it's what happens now, you know, over the next two to three months, how you hold, you know, what you do, how you reinvent mm -hmm. yourself. Uh, that's going to make a key difference and sort of sustain people going forward. Right. So uh, one has to take a long term view of the business and, you know, not get sort of uh, disheartened by the short term reverses. Uh, uh, is that uh, like the that your, is that your advice to uh, people in the uh, cloud kitchen business? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, there are many variables that are, you know, in your control. So you can, you can work on those variables. You can try to um, hold on to your costs as much as possible. Keep it very, very tight. Keep it very streamlined at the moment, you know. Um, maybe take some hard decisions. Sometimes taking a decision to not open is, is also a decision that is important, you know. So you sort of stagger it. And so that, see, eventually... You want to be in a position where you are, you have enough fuel in the engine to sort of restart. You know, you don't want to get yes. depleted immediately. So I think that you know, doing that is very, very important. And uh, and the good news, I I think the one great thing is that I mean, I'm on different WhatsApp groups and a lot of food groups and a lot of people, including one which is around the area that I live in. And people yes. are now ordering so much delivery. I think that even post COVID, whenever you know all this happens, uh, I think we're going to have a lot more customers because a lot more customers yes. are now getting. You know, familiar with delivery, uh, the ease of you know delivery, the technology of delivery. Yeah. Like at times, people felt, oh, like my parents won't order because they have to get on an app or something. But you yeah. know, things are much easier now. So, uh, yeah. so I, I think that you know um, there is uh, light on the other side. I think we just have yeah. to hold tight for a little bit. Right. So, uh, uh, Gautam, uh, you know, um, uh, you you have come up with a lot of, you've worked on restaurants, you've worked on restaurant concepts. You've, um, you've also done, I think, some work with Swiggy on their right. delivery kitchens. Huh? Right. Can you, uh, can you, uh, you know, uh, recount some of your experiences uh, developing uh, you know, um, uh, cloud kitchens for Swiggy? So uh, uh, since we started, we've been uh, doing the execution part of the project side. So not majorly involved in the operational aspect. So we've... Mm -hmm. uh, Post my DLF and Hilton days, I got into uh, building the restaurants part more, where we we did a lot of projects for Light Bite Food, for Massive, for uh, Select City Walk, in-house brands, and then started with Starbucks. We are one of the uh, GCs for Starbucks India. So now with Swiggy, in the last, uh, I think in the last last financial year, we did almost two and a half, three lakh square feet of cloud kitchen spaces across India. So from locations from uh, Kolkata to Chennai to Indore, uh, Lahpur, Pune, and all kitchens. So Swiggy operates in different models, right? So they have one which is their access kitchen, where they, which is more of a co-working space. Mm -hmm. And the other is their homely where they promote their in-house brands. So mm -hmm. they're different way to look at their kitchens, how they, how they put the whole commercial aspect together. So we got a chance to work with them and understand how the business is really scalable. And uh, though it looks a little tight right now, but I think it's a really uh, positive sign because, uh, 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 I mean, in an average, a Delhi, I'd eat six times a month out. Uh, yeah. And that would still continue, I say, post-COVID, not now. Mm -hmm. But uh, the delivery will also add on to the experience of the customers. Because uh, so, people... So, you know, uh, what is the average now? You think how many times are people uh, ordering in? I think now in the last two weeks, it's definitely gone up. But uh, initially, there was oh, yeah. hardly. And uh, the Domino's fiasco, which happened, and it brought things down mm -hmm. further down a little. 
but i think now the in the last uh, two weeks there have been an upward trend surely mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and there is a scaling down the, even with other major brands which are funded they have been scaled down they've been shutting they've been looking at smaller uh, capex kitchens and right get their maintenance and projects rolled out in fact uh, i'll come to um, uh, mr suri vikas suri and talk a little bit about kitchens and the capex part of it but uh, you know um, what i wanted to ask uh, do you think the model like what um, swiggy is trying to uh, operationalize will that work in the long run will that mm. be more uh, viable than individual efforts uh, like what we're seeing now uh, so uh, that's to me if i'm Uh, no that's that's what uh, gotham and i'm okay gotham go on <laughs> so uh, yeah it's i think uh, uh, cloud kitchen has to be looked into a completely uh, i think with food and beverage it's not really an excel driven business that you can look at uh, there's a lot of heart and soul that goes into any food and beverage venture mm-hmm. i think uh, that aspect a lot of people miss out on and uh, the uh, i think the chefs and the operators do still a better job at what they are supposed to do rather than the number crunches i personally feel that right right uh, in, in fact uh, sorry i mean uh, you know i i know about a little bit about gotham's work mm-hmm. with swiggy because in fact he's doing one part of that you know all mm-hmm. the work for them we actually did the other part so when they started mm-hmm. the cloud kitchen uh, format we built the whole program for them and we actually right. built their first all their brands we did all the concepts Um, right. straight from start to finish from like you know logo execution the one wonderful right. thing that they had was technology the wonderful thing that they had right. was statistics and you know once you have that and if you're just mm-hmm. able to have you know um the ability to read through that and see you know where the gaps are um mm-hmm. you know nothing i mean i mean nothing can stop you really you know if so, if you so i i see you know, i see got gotham you know, being the uh, fnb guy he's talking about he really i about heart and soul and not that with the numbers you being the former investment banker you talk you on numbers you know so there's a key difference i left so, investment yeah. banking to follow my heart and soul so <laughs> <laughs> so guys got them quickly before we go to vikas uh, uh, for a longer talk on kitchen design yes so got them yeah any, any thoughts on uh, uh, you know this um, i think you know, uh, a lot of uh, new home chefs are going to take away uh, the the new uh, that will be a new competition to the professionals for sure i think that's a new right and especially so you, you see you see you see that is a, i mean you know we generally discount home chefs but they should not be discounted right? oh it and if if any society you live in and if you're part of that society whatsapp group you will every day see a new baker or a new uh, chef who's come up and somebody mm. sell cupcakes the other one is dishing out mm. great breads so they will i mean eventually this will translate to business serious business for a lot of guys may not may not be for everybody uh, some will still be a hobby but later it will be okay uh, so vikas uh, i think um, uh, i've got a very good question from nandita rajput uh, mm-hmm. and those are what are the key points for setup of cloud kitchens i think uh, uh, that especially in terms of when even everyone's talking about capex you know and uh, you know what the liquidity uh, crunch in the market uh, how how do you uh, what advice do you give them so basically uh, what we look for is a cleaner site commercial site typically an area of about 350 to 400 plus onwards depending upon the kind of menu and cuisine you have of course so this is the minimum requirements now talking about the investments again it's it varies from 13 lakhs onward to say 16 17 maybe 20 lakhs see a lot of stress nowadays have been on people asking for contactless cooking hygiene standards in the kitchens so what they are going in for instead of uh, you know using the conventional cooking like burners etc they are walking away from them and they are talking about vertical cookings where all a chef does is puts every ingredient into a pan and goes into a stainless steel cabinet which he plays around with and and the food gets out so these are kind of kitchens now people are looking at even small investors and small brands mm-hmm. are asking for similar stuff uh, you know for the cloud so so, so you now now you have these vertical uh, cooking uh, ranges shall we say so, so these uh, are vert- vertical cooking systems so they basically combination cooking systems where you combination. know you would use uh, you know you would use a, a mix of combination of uh, you know heating system to cook your food to things like biryani I mean, a classic example, of course, is biryani. Who's using 
uh, combination ovens for making the biryanis. So everything is pre-portioned. They put it into a pan and they put it into a cabinet. And they set yeah. it up at a temperature and time and it just cooks it there. Yeah. So that is what I was. Uh, I, I met this um, the representative of Rational. Uh, he's uh, he's ex Park uh, New Delhi, but he works in Austria. You know? uh, so he was saying that how he was um, you know uh, seconded to Paradise, uh, the famous Paradise, uh, uh, you know the biryani people of uh, Hyderabad, you know? mm -hmm. to uh, to completely uh, transform the production using uh, Rational ovens. You know? Or mm -hmm. rational combi is, uh, combis, you know. So mm -hmm. um, obviously, uh, technology is coming to the aid of cloud kitchens. Huh? Oh, absolutely, technology is coming into uh, kitchens very, very heavily. I mean, we've been discussing kitchens and cloud kitchens with people now, where machines are talking to each other while the food is being cooked. I mean, a classic example like uh, uh, you know, uh, you know, the food the moment it's getting ready or it's about to finish, uh, you know, it automatically signals the, uh, the next machine, which is basically a batch freezer, so that it automatically kicks in again. And the moment the biryani is ready, we get it out and we put it straight into a, a batch freezer and it's ready. That's the way kind of uh, things people are looking at. Right, right. So that's, uh, that's interesting. You know, very, uh, now, uh, which, again, another technical question, you know, uh, there are a lot of uh, you know people from the industry um, <clears throat> in the audience, so there will be some technical questions. Um, one of these um, questions is how does one shift an industrial bakery to a cloud kitchen? Uh, we can't see any thoughts. Very simple. I mean, what is what is really a cloud kitchen? It's it's actually a takeaway outlet with no dining facility. Mm -hmm. So if you have an outlet where you have kitchen, you can convert that into a a takeaway kitchen very simply and very easily. Mm. Absolutely no issues on that. Right. All you require is basic cooking books. That's all you require. Mm -hmm. In fact, a lot of now restaurants have converted from a typically dining into cloud kitchen and serving it from there. It, but, uh, you know, so, uh, uh, Ramindra, coming to you, you know, there is a question which is interesting, uh, which is, of course, a corrective to our discussions, you know. Uh, so, uh, uh, it's from uh, Harshita Kejriwal, and uh, she the lady says that how how does one get customers in these times for a new brand? Hmm? And I think you have launched a few new, new brands. You can talk about them. The food delivery market has drastically gone down. Is this your experience? I've talked to multiple restaurant owners whose orders have been have seen ten percent uh, ten times reduction, I mean, which is almost hundred percent reduction. Hmm? According to you, is this the right time to open the cloud kitchen? After how many months it can be expected that things will go normal? Lots of questions in one question, but uh, basically, is cloud kitchens are cloud kitchens a viable model? The cloud kitchens, as I said, they are very viable models because I always call them they are restaurants. As uh, Vikas also said, they are basically restaurants without dining. So back end is all same. Mm -hmm. Only the processing of your operational SOP is different from a restaurant to a cloud kitchen. So as far as uh, running of those cloud kitchen uh, is concerned, again, as we discussed, the biggest challenge is customer acquisition. And customer acquisition will only come from word of mouth and through your, uh, basically, aggregator's uh, advertisement also. That also plays a major role in that. So, uh, like, for example, you can... Uh, uh, take advertisement on Zomato's or the Swiggy's of the world mm -hmm. and you start your own delivery. But again, this will take four to six months. So that kind of working capital you must have. Because you will see uh, gradually all the these kind of kitchens who are like, will be earning from second month or third month. Nobody can earn. Not even so, if a break even will come in three months. Let me and put so in my insight here a little bit. Yeah. You know, I think what happens is once you open up a cloud kitchen, you do have to initially work a little hard to go on board with companies like Zomato, Swiggy, which I obviously call them digital landlords. Mm -hmm. You walk in there, you get yourself boarded, you have the customers starting there, and then you lure them with a direct customer coming into your house. So when you're packing your food, putting it to them, just put in a small coupon saying, order direct, take a 20% off next time. You're still better off than paying 25, 30% to these guys. 
So the customer co acquisition cost is initially maybe higher in terms of time and efforts. Uh, otherwise, mm. it's fairly decent. And once you have a good product coming in, it's a great thing. I'll give you another example. So mm. there is another uh, project we did just before lockdown. We finished right. it before lockdown. And we thought, poor guy, he's going to get killed. Right. Fortunately, he did a wonderful job. So what he did was, uh, you know, he could not tie up with Swiggy and Zomato who were, right. but he started beaming every order he was getting on a YouTube and he started putting him up there. Whoa. People saw that confidence mm -hmm. and started ordering more. And during the lockdown periods, he was doing a sale of about 45 to 50,000 bucks a day, which was unheard of, oh, really? which was unheard of. Yeah. That yeah. So you've got to be a little more creative with all such stuff. Mm -hmm. so whatever yeah, this, uh, yeah, example, just... but I would still say you yeah. should take four to six of capital in your hand. Right. I guess so one has to... कस्टमर which, which brings me to but because the idea is the उसे work कर रहे हैं हम लोग वैसे कर रहे हैं जो कूपन डाल के अपने वेबसाइट पे लेके आ रहे हैं अपने वेबसाइट ऑर्डर कर रहे हैं और अच्छा दे दो मर्जी करो उसको ब्रेक इवन प्रॉफिट में आने में चार छह महीने चाहिए एग्जैक्टली व्हाट आई एम ट्राइंग टू से एग्रीड एग्रीड दो मर्जी स्कीम लगा Government, once you're a cane, then only it's coming three months. Now, brand, so it will take time. I'm sorry, just to answer Harsh's yeah, question. Yeah, I, I wanted to come to this. You know marketing, I think, better than a lot of us, you know. And um, uh, so, uh, what is your, um, where does marketing come into the picture here? No? Wow, what a, you are really asking me the, the, the tough ones, huh? So, um, <laughs> I just want to quickly just finish off with Harshita's yeah, yeah. question. That, you know, one sure, thing sure. is, Harshita, I want to tell her that, uh, you know, two parts. One is that one thing I think a lot of people, you know, forget about, and I think a lot of people on, you know, the panel, they do this really well, um, is that you need to now, you can't just be like, when do I open a restaurant? Just like, what is it? Where is it going to be? Who is your demographic? Who is your client? What is the character? What is the branding? What is the look and feel? What are people going to do when they receive it? Um, you know, the, the example that Vikas gave about, you know, the videos, these are all things that help in, you know, having a recall value. You know, that's what, like, you know, now if a restaurant pivots to a cloud kitchen, they have the brand loyalty already, right? Now you open your own, you know, from nowhere, like bagels and company, you have to really work hard, right? Um, and sorry, and, and, and so Harshita, last thing, when is the right time to open? It may not be the right time to open, but it's definitely the right time to start planning. It's the right time to start thinking, the right time to put those things together because um, it just, it'll save you that time. You know, once things pick up again, it'll be hectic and everyone's going to get busy. So now is a good time to sort of start planning. And, and I'm sorry, sorry. Uh, so you. that is, uh, I think that is, uh, I think that's what Raminder is also saying, you know, give yourself four to six months and, uh, you know, uh, yeah, and I think another point which Rajiv Aneja, who, uh, as we all know, experienced this right here, he says that, uh, you know, uh, people get attracted to the restaurant business, uh, to the cloud kitchen business because of the low setup costs. What they don't realize is that the working capital of the few months, you know, adds up, you know, and it's, it's quite a quite a big sum, you know. Uh, so, uh, you know, the working capital is what exactly, Raminder, you were talking Correct. about. That's what Rajiv is also saying. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, you know, everyone's responsibility yeah. to tell people, you know, really what the, the true picture is. Everyone feels that it's all it's going to be amazing from day one. It's not. It's a you know, F and B is a lot of hard work. It's mm -hmm. margins are slim. You know, you really it's a twenty four hour job. You can't take your foot off the accelerator for, uh, you know, an, a day and you come back mm -hmm. and everything has changed. You know, so mm -hmm. and so Rajiv is right. You know, you do need to to do that. So you need to be accustomed to the fact that you have to have the stomach for it. Yes, and you know, so, uh, you know. Um, a good idea with bad execution is just a bad idea, right? right? So I think it's question is that, you know, at least knowing what you're getting into is really, really important from, from the start. And, you know, uh, I, I think then there was, that is, I mean, one, that is one of the reasons we are, we are having this discussion because we felt that there's so much in interest in the subject. Let us add a little bit to the knowledge. Uh, you know, sort of, uh, now, um, you know, uh, Sh uh, Sham, uh, you know, Sham Bhai, 
आपसे मैं पूछूंगी ये बड़ा प्रैक्टिकल क्वेश्चन रहेगा देखिए आपने एक ये जो एग्रीगेटर्स है जोमेटो और स्विगी हम सब जानते हैं इनके इनके परसेंटेजेस क्या है बहुत हाई है एक क्लाउड किचन एक एक क्लाउड किचन के लिए ये कैसे चलाएंगे अपना धंधा कर ये ये परसेंटेज ही देते रहे को सर तो तो जैसे विकास जी ने अभी बोला है कि हम लोग डिपेंड तो, कोई भी बिजनेस सर किसी पे डिपेंड होके हम लोग कर नहीं सकते जी. ये जो भी है ये ट्रांसपोर्टेशन है हमारे जी. करना तो हमको खुद अपने डाटा बनाना है अपने कस्टमर का जैसे आप अपने लोयल कस्टमर बनाना और उनको अच्छे सर्विस देना है जो आप देते जी. हैं तो आइडिया ये भी है सर की क्या है की जैसे की अभी जो हम लोग डिपेंड होंगे स्विगे जोमेटो पे तो उनके पास खुद कस्टमर नहीं आ रहे हैं तो अपने हम अपने कस्टमर को सोल्व कैसे करेंगे प्रॉब्लम बिजनेस तो हमारा अगर हम किसी का प्रॉब्लम सोल्व कर रहे हैं तभी तो हम चल रहे हैं चल रहे हैं अदरवाइज हमको क्यों पूछेगा कोई तो आइडिया है सर कि क्लाउड किचन हमने क्या क्यों हमने जाना चाहा कि पहले से प्लान था मलेशिया में जी मैं जब स्टार्ट किया था मोमो किंग तभी से प्लान था कि हम डिलीवरी में ही जाएंगे दूसरी चीज क्या हुआ कि अभी रिसेंटली मैंने मेनू चेंज किया सर नया मेनू थोड़ा हेल्थियर ऑप्शन भी लेकर आए हम जैसे ग्लूटन फ्री बेगन मोमोज जो भी कोई की नहीं नहीं कर रहा है होल वीट तो अभी इसको ये तो लंच कर दिया हमने अपने आउटलेट पे लेकिन आउटलेट पे लोग आ नहीं रहे हैं तो उनके पास तो पहुंचाना है हमको तो और इसके लिए हमने क्लाउड किचन के लिए एक बेस किचन हमने किया अभी जो हमारा बन रहा है ओखला में जो तीन स्क्वायर फीट का है सो वहां से हम लोग सेमी कुक पहले तो हम लोग क्या होता था सर की फ्रेश फूड हम लोग पहले तो किचन से हमारा जाता था फ्रेश बनके और आउटलेट पे बनाते थे हम लोग तो उस टाइम पे मेन पावर का कस्टिंग वगैरह ज्यादा हो रहा था हमारे यूटिलिटी का कस्टिंग ज्यादा हो रहा था तो अभी क्या है कि हम लोग सेंट्रल किचन बना के सेमी कुड बना के लेकर चलेंगे आउट क्लाउड किचन में वहां से डिलीवरी करेंगे और इसके लिए अपना डिलीवरी हम लोग शुरू किए हैं हम लोग शुरू किए जी सर इन दॉन्ग रन ये सस्ता पड़ेगा So, नहीं सर एक्चुअली जैसे मैंने आपको बोला कि स्विगी जोमेटो हमारे ट्रांसपोर्टेशन है ये हमारे कोर कोर सपोर्टर नहीं है और जैसे अभी सिद्ध जी ने बोला कि जो हम लोग बाहर से देखते हैं कि एफ एन बी में जो ज्यादा फायदा है प्रॉफिट ज्यादा है तो है नहीं <laughs> तो ये सार सब जगह से कस्ट कटिंग करके ही हम लोग को तो और अभी तो बिल्कुल नहीं सर क्योंकि अभी तो हम लोग सर्वाइवल मोड पे है तो अभी तो बिल्कुल नहीं सर और उसके लिए भी अभी अब ये राइट टाइम है कि हम अपना बेस खड़ा करें अपने कस्टमर से डायरेक्ट इंटरेक्ट हो उनका सुने जो भी कमी कमजोरी उसको पूरा करें और उनके साथ लॉयल रहें मुझे लगता है मुझे ऐसा लगता है अभी जोमेटो स्विगी तो so, आप उनके थ्रू भी खाना बेच सकते हैं और दूसरा भी एक एक ऑप्शन है दूसरा भी एक चीज है कंसर्न मेरा ये है कि अभी सारे लोग बहुत हेल्थ कॉन्शियस बहुत हाइजीन में बहुत को हो रहे हैं और डर भी रहे हैं ऑर्डर करने से तो हम लोग कैसे दूसरे पे सेकंड पार्टी भी डिपेंड होके उतना फुली डिपेंड नहीं हो सकते हैं कि अगर हमको कुछ हाइजीन मेंटेन करना अपना और फ्रेश खाने खाना पहुँचाना है अपने क्लाइंट के पास तो अपना भी कुछ होना जरूरी है जब तक हम लोग अपना इनिशियेटिव नहीं लेंगे तो थर्ड पार्टी को तो पता नहीं कैसे क्या करता है अब कोर्स वो कब से करते होंगे करते भी लेकिन अभी जो चांसेस लेना जिस टाइम पे जो कस्टमर के सेंटीमेंट के खिलाफ जाना बहुत बेकार हो जाता है वो बहुत अच्छा पॉइंट नहीं रहेगा मुझे लगता है अगर आप अगला आउटलेट बॉम्बे में है तो आपके लिए वहाँ पे फ्रोजन मोमेज भेजो आप लॉजिस्टिक कॉस्ट बहुत टाइट होती जा रही है तो 
in fact, uh, you, in, in, in Shams, uh, uh, you know, his Shams next week, Steph will be frozen momos, you know. That will be something interesting and look out for. I'll have to, uh, you know, bottom, uh, before I take up other questions, uh, what is what are yeah. your thoughts, uh, you know, you've heard your fellow panelists talk oh, about yeah. various issues. When the, uh, before the cab uh, your aggregation happened, we used to have brands called Meru and Mega. They were atrociously mm. priced and even today they are, if you look at mm. the services at the airport. And then we had Ola and Uber and mm. uh, as a consumer, I think everybody loves Ola and Uber because it's cost effective, efficient, clean, mm. hygienic. Of course, there are customer feedbacks and all that, which is always right. in any brand. But there also, if you look at and speak to the maximum drivers, they're mostly complaining that, the, you know, the payments don't come on time, the salaries are not on right. time, the cut that they take is higher than what they, we earn. But everybody is still continuing with them. Nobody really says that tomorrow we'll not drive Ola and we'll go back to yellow and white taxi. Right. So it's similarly with Swiggy and Zomato, I think they were the first ones who have taken this space seriously. And right. uh, that's how they've captured the market in terms of their, and the best thing that has happened with them is they have tons of data. I think nobody right. can give them the data that they have. And for Cloud Kitchen model, uh, your product and the target audience has to mad, match yes. differently. You so that's where the, uh, the big, big data coming to play there. Right? You can't sell a butter chicken in a Gujarati community area. So mm. similarly, so, so all those things, that is something which I think Sid would agree that Swiggy and Zomato have mastered in terms of their data. So mm. like the cabs happened, there were new players. Similarly, NRS launched their own delivery mm. platform. And so similar players will come in and there will be a competition. No, and we, they, we, and in the recent, just in the happen. recent weeks, yeah, uh, Taj, the, the Taj group of hotels uh, has launched its uh, delivery app. Yeah. Even even IHCL has uh, launched their yeah, uh, the Taj, yes, yeah. So, 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 yeah. And we have uh, yeah, some learnings. Impresario uh, restaurants, uh, handmade restaurants, also launching their app. Hmm? So delivery apps are coming into uh, play. But uh, yeah. uh, you know the the, the seat, uh, How does you know? It's good to have apps, but as uh, Kapil Chopra asked the other day on this program, uh, how does one ensure these apps uh, translate or deliver the kind of business they're looking at? How do you so, capitalize yeah. on the apps? So, um, so I'm going to answer that one also just to follow up on, on Gautami. I do, yeah, he said, well, Sid agree. I definitely agree. Data is, is fantastic, right? Data is, ba mm -hmm. and you, once you have that, you can build so much around that. And a lot of people don't have access to it. And I mm -hmm. think uh, a lot of questions on the on the chat, I can see is like how much do Swiggy and you know how much do these guys charge? And just to let everyone know, they actually started with about 12 to 13 percent when they began, and now they're 20 to 23, 25 percent. Um, you know, and um, and I think that's what's hurting a lot of people. Um, and it's tough to go. And I think a lot, like you know, I think everyone on this panel, uh, probably a lot of people in the audience also know that there are a number of initiatives that are happening simultaneously, whether it's through NRAI, whether it's through, you know, groups of restaurants, whether it's, you know, restaurant groups individually who have large formats or large numbers of restaurants who are now looking to um, find better ways to, you know, get cheaper delivery or, you know, uh, and because it's, it is really, it's crazy expensive. It's almost the, the cost of food, you know, uh, exactly. is, the, is, is the delivery, right? Um, mm. Now to answer your question, Suresh, with the app, I think that, it's a, it's a tricky one, right? So I think that if you are a large group and if you have a number of different brands, then you have an advantage, right? Um, you know, and I think then you can possibly launch that app. Or if you are a, a group of people, let's say your NRAI restaurants and you come together and you launch an app and you have all the restaurants on that platform, people will download that app. Mm -hmm. But I don't think people are going to download, you know, 20 apps. Like if you think of your favorite three restaurants right now, do you have any of their apps? I'm sure they have loyalty apps, something. Nobody has those apps because nobody wants to clutter their, you know, their phones right now. So as long as there is um, maybe, you know, a number of brands together in one app, that makes sense. Otherwise, I think it's very tough for a single brand to uh, get, you know, their customers to, to download those apps. So I think that that needs to be done a little bit uh, smartly. Right, right. So, um, uh, you know, uh, I'll ask uh, two questions which have been asked by... Ishan Sarkar, you know, we all know him uh, for many years now. Uh, do you think, he asks, do you think it is better to create virtual brands or go with your own brand, considering the kitchen is ready and also mild delivery is outsourced? So, Raminder, what's your thought? What are your thoughts on this? Can you repeat the question, please? 
Yeah, sorry, uh, we have been very clear. This, this one you see. Yeah, do you think it is better to create virtual brands or go with your own brand? Considering the kitchen is ready and also mild delivery has been outsourced. Yeah, again, we are coming back to that. Uh, it will take again four to six months, whatever you do, whatever you do. So uh, mm. what I'm uh, suggesting you, like entrepreneurs, smaller things, not entrepreneurs, I would say who want smaller investments. That you take a franchisee of a cloud kitchen, which will be a new model coming now, rather than you're open, your own. Because what's happening is you'll save a lot of money. Because you will be starting your sales from day one, rather than building your own brand and getting the sales after six months. Mm -hmm. So if you have limited money and lesser working capital, better take a, take a franchise of some cloud kitchen. And now that market is also opening up. In the, like cloud kitchens are also going to the franchise model. So small, small things will happen. Like for example, if you want to start a Momo brand, why will I invest in all R&D, whatever, branding, hundreds of things? I'll go to Thakurji, sir, franchise is a free seller, it will be very easy for me. Rather than opening my own and getting... So those things are also happening now, gradually. Right. That's, yeah. that's, so this is a very fluid uh, um, business vertical, I see, you know. It, it is a business vertical which has uh, so no, which is seeing a lot of movement right now. This is very good, you know. Now, uh, uh, I yeah, think as I said initially, yeah. yeah, as I said initially, this will be a two billion dollar industry in 2024, from a four right. uh, four hundred million dollars right. now, and that will in yeah. India only. So this is in fact, this is standing multifold. My friend Arjun Abhi, you know, who uh, runs uh, sushi house, Asian house, etc., etc. Uh, he was saying that they, recently, you know, they're trying to get all cloud kitchen operators under one association. And just in Delhi, NCR, like 200 people signed up. So, I mean, they're just, I mean, Delhi, NCR only alone, there are 200 cloud kitchen uh, operators. You know? So, obviously, the growth potential is immense. Whatever See, the. When, I, when we talk about Delhi, NCR, we are talking about yeah. 4.7 crores of population. Right. Right. And we say Delhi NCR, it is Greater Faridabad, Manesar, mm. and Kundli, and your Greater Noida. It's 4.5, right. 4.7. I think it's a mini yeah. Europe. Yeah. So, I yeah. think the more the merrier. Everybody will learn. It's market mm. for everyone. Right. Uh, amazing. So one very, brand, very, I always yeah. say one brand, a small QSR brand, if right. done rightly, Delhi NCR can take 70 to 80 of those brands only. That yeah. one brand I'm talking That's right. And and really, King, easily he has maybe 100 of uh, outlets he can open in Delhi and there only. Right. I, I hope so. I mean, I hope all of you have hey, many, many outlets. We are going to go to the next one. So, let's see. You want to go to the south end, you will be able to go to the south end. Easily. It's more yeah. for points. Delhi is a very good market, sir. It's very diversified. It's a very good market. Population is. Or actually, what, Raminder, uh, you have pointed out a very interesting thing. Delhi is much bigger than we think it is. You know? We only think about Delhi, Gurgaon, Noida, maybe, you know? No, no, no. It's for, now, Gurgaon and Noida become almost independent markets, you know? Correct, sort correct. Of, sort of, they're no longer satellite markets. They have their own life, you know? Um, well, uh, that brings me, uh, Vikas, uh, Vikas, uh, there is a, uh, I think this, qu this question will be best answered by you. Uh, what is your mantra for beginners venturing into cloud kitchens? Uh, among the big players who are already there? So, mantra, I would say that uh, keep your operations simple. Uh, your investments uh, at a decent possible, yet do not compromise with the technology. And uh, go with the, uh, you know, the whole concept. I mean, you don't have to compromise uh, with the technology. That's what important. Like, as I said, today, everybody walking into our office is talking about technology, how we can... Uh, you know, prove people that our food has been cooked hygienically and it's been distributed hygienically. Right. So that's what people are. In fact, to tell you very honestly, we were doing a South Indian QSR, uh, yeah. you know, before COVID. The yeah. whole design has changed now because the person wants to install a yeah. dishwasher and show to people that he's actually dishwashing yeah. in a dishwashing machine and it's, it's a nice place to be and have food and enjoy. So that's yeah. the way people are thinking now. Yeah. So people are ready to make that investment also. Absolutely. Uh, people who are serious towards business, 
who have the passion they are very very uh, serious about investing money in this mm-hmm. because it's a long term as ramendra said uh, you have to look into 4 5 6 months down the line to mm-hmm. just sustain and then tell right so, so um, think, uh, yeah sorry, please sorry, i i think uh, uh, with uh, there are couple of do's that one has to look at of course you're not right. building a master chef india kitchen so you have to keep that in mind right uh, even though you want to get the basics right uh, because the energy has to be clean and you know efficiently costed mm-hmm. apart from that the uh, what product you're shelling out the only best thing and the beautiful beauty of cloud kitchen is that with one kitchen you can still create multiple brands uh, i mean you like yes. a virtual food court uh that's the beauty with the same set of tandoor and the fries and the uh, cold room you can still have multiple store fronts on the app which you yeah. cannot in a restaurant to do that yeah. you need a big kitchen you need a, a lot of skill set you need a lot of it's into your dining spaces so that's i think a big plus of having a cloud kitchen you can create multiple yeah. brands out of one one venue in fact that is you answer the question of nandita rajput who says uh, uh, you know uh, single brand or multiple brands uh, you know uh, what um, yeah, uh, yeah. single yeah. brand single are, brand is okay yeah. can multiple brands be launched from cloud kitchen so clearly multiple brands can be launched must be that can be launched and ideally if you can i mean you should launch them because then you have economies of scale you know you have the staff you have the team you have the kitchen you have that so over and then you have you know multiple brands so it does uh, i think it mm-hmm. definitely helps and so if you of course if you're very passionate about something specific or you have a concept mm-hmm. that's fine but if you're looking at getting into it um and looking at you know commercial viability and mm-hmm. and things that you know would help then mm-hmm. that's a good thing to keep in mind to have a multiple mm-hmm. uh, you know multiple brands in the kitchen mm-hmm. but no, i'll add uh, one one thing here yeah. make the first yeah. brand successful then yeah, only yeah. think of multiple mm-hmm. because there are a lot of uh, because logo designing facebook pages Mm. the packaging designing requires a lot, of, a lot so of so your project cost is high it's mm. not like the initial project cost was high but make first brand mm. successful then only you multiply right right so you know i i just thought of uh, you know uh, quickly asking this question because you know we are talking mostly with the delhi ncr mindset uh, you know um, but like we have a you're from kolkata you know arindam chakravarti who say who was you know the amount that the aggregators are asking for doesn't make the business feasible uh, keeping in mind that the price points are low now in places like kolkata and all we know that price points are much lower than delhi and cr uh, right. even in mumbai that is true you know so when you take an all india picture you know and, you know raminder and said i think you can guide us through this you know like no, all- okay, yeah. i'll add on to this in kolkata yeah. your food yeah. cost is lower and your uh, labor cost is lower as compared to delhi and cr right because of the minimum wage level and other things <coughs> over there like uh, like a 40 uh, a simple dish like uh, uh, ingredient like chicken breast bowl and if mm. it is 200 rupees here in kolkata it's approximately 150 rupees right and labor minimum wage level is much different as compared mm. to delhi and cr so your dynamic change right right so, so yeah, you, you, your cost of business same price mm. and either which way look i mean you know i mean of course raminder is right uh, there's a different cost dynamic in in calcutta but either which way it's like the amount is crazy right yeah, it's a lot it's crazy true, true it's bonkers right and that's why yeah. there's so many people who are on the verge of you know coming finding a solution there are many people who are working on this right now aggressively a lot of restaurant brands are just hiring their own delivery staff also because you know what started off as a fantastic idea and, and you know and of course it was great but then what happened is you you know a lot of aggregators don't even share the customer with you so what happens is if you have a customer for a brand you're like oh i i'm a big for, loyal fan of momo king now i want to i get on zomato i order now Poor guys in Momo King, they don't even get to know who the order is, what's mm-hmm. happened. They just know there's an order. This is what the order is, and that's it. Mm-hmm. So they don't mm-hmm. even get customer acquisition. They don't get, mm-hmm. you know, the, the inability to keep that customer record, mm-hmm. that loyalty. So no, that's not there. And then you, mm-hmm. on top of everything, you get that the slap of 22, 23%. Mm-hmm. So right. I think um, something needs to change for sure, and and I think that uh, it is happening. It is happening for sure. Right. Okay. I mean, uh, I, I see that you know, for <clears throat> I, I I was again um, you know, coming back to my chat with kapil chopra the other day you know he said that easy diner is offering 5% um you know and uh, 
it's it's seeing five percent and uh, uh, it's giving it's sharing all its customer database. I think that's amazing. Isn't it? That's awesome. Uh, I mean, if if uh, but of course I don't know how much uh, you know how much of Zomato's uh, business they've been able to impact. Um, now, uh, of course, uh, you know, um, Mr. Uh, Arindam Takrati <laughs> disagrees with the Ravinder. He says uh, the basic vegetables are nothing less than eighty rupees a kilo. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's why I gave another example. <laughs> uh, I guess, but I guess, yeah, uh, and skinless chicken is twenty two hundred and sixty bucks a kilo. You know? So, uh, calculus of that is B to C rate. Those are B to C rate. I, that's what I thought. It can't, can't be B two B rates, and certainly not. You know. Uh, yeah, any, anyway, let's. B two B rates. B two B rates are same skin. Right. I have right. mutton. That is like in B two B. Yeah, mutton of course has gone through the roof. Uh, now Correct. I will, um, uh, you know, uh, quickly come to, uh, you know, an important question, which again has been asked here um, by Gurinder Palsi, who, by the way, is the most prolific question writer <laughs> among the panelists. So Gurinder says that. Um, uh, is is the FHRAI has anyone seen or worked with the FHRAI app or you know what do you think how do you think it will become uh, the standard for the industry will more and more people move towards the FH, FHRAI uh, sorry not FHRAI the uh, the NRAI uh, more uh, you know delivery app and uh, you know that may be the solution to the problems. I mean, I'm, I feel very positive about it. I think it's, you know, built, um, you know, by the restaurants for the restaurants, you know, and I think that says it all, right? So, um, you know, whilst we, you know, everyone has great relationships with everybody, this one factor is, is, is something that is needed to be, you know, I mean, everybody will give it a shot. Everybody will give it a, a chance. And now also with the current environment, every rupee counts, every percentage matters, you know? So um, it's, it's just too painful to go on the same way, right? There has to be something, everyone needs to kind of come together. And, and you know, I mean, I'm not saying that it won't happen with the current aggregators. Maybe, you know, there will be a relationship rebuilt and, you know, and we will see eye to eye and that's also possible and I hope that it is. But you can't stop other people starting, you know, uh, apps like this and it's good, it's, it's better for everyone, right? So, uh, you know, so eventually the price will come, the, the percentage will come down irrespective, the more market players there are. So, uh, of course, uh, I, I, do, I don't know what is the, uh, what, at what development stage is the NRAI app at, you know? Um, has, is anyone using it or has it gone into the market? I don't think it's been launched as yet. Oh, it's it's in another development, but it's not been launched not as yet. yet. Still yeah. Uh, and, and also, um, I, I think, you know, the, you know, when you're talking about it's an app developed by restorators for restorators, we have two very well-known uh, people who know the business uh, who are actually working on it night and day. One is Rahul Singh, the other is Riyaz Zamlani. They both have really invested a lot of time and effort into this app. Uh, so I'm sure the product will be something to watch out for. Uh, you know, and uh, you know, uh, sort of uh, 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 there's something to uh, look out to. to uh, now, uh, let us uh, look at uh, the uh, some any other questions. Otherwise, I will. Uh, Okay, now there is a very specific question for because you know it's from Nikhil. Uh, we are into manufacturing cookies and dry cakes and sell it on a B2B module. How do I increase my sales uh, since I do not have a direct place to sell since all my products go to resellers? So I think I can only tell uh, Pawan here is to get his name and number and tell him to get in touch directly with one of the marketing experts out of the group. <laughs> <laughs> I guess Sid, Sid will be a better person to guide him, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, sir. Uh, Nikhil, you can connect with me. <laughs> Nikhil, email me, Nikhil. <laughs> yeah, Nikhil, I think uh, we've got, um, we got Raminder, we've got uh, Sid, Mathur, all, all, no, all guys. E-commerce, uh, e-commerce. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but, uh, of course, this is e-commerce, okay, fine. Because oh, 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 you're saying is go, go, go for the e-commerce group. Oh. Let me tell them, last three months since lockdown, like from 1st April to 30th mm -hmm. of July, the e-commerce business of like simple cheese, uh, things like rat biscuits, mm -hmm. they've gone uh, up by 3x. So what right. is happening is, yeah, so people are entering into even the chains which are working like QSR chains, right. they're working towards e-commerce models. 
so that they can make up for the some revenue and people are ordering mm. that like you can order like in mm. for example in chaios even in shakkar paras your matki mm. you are available at home so, right right I think we are losing your voice. So I would totally agree with Raminder what he said. You know the the deliveries have increased exponentially. Uh, you know we do some popcorn business. It's gone seven Correct. times Correct. to Whoa. what we were doing earlier. Well, uh, I was just looking at the numbers. So imagine the kind of spurt this uh, thing has had. So you know the whole picture of doom and gloom that a lot of people are painting over the delivery business. I don't think it works. I mean, I mean, even obser- purely observationally, I can say that people are ordering in a lot more than they ever did in the past. Suresh, I'll give you another example. Uh, you know, we have a very well-known, uh, you know, outlet in West Delhi. He does some fantastic butter chicken. During the lockdown period, his Sales and delivery model jumped from forty-five thousand bucks a month to one lakh thirty thousand bucks a month. Yeah. His yeah. APC, an average per check, grew from eight hundred bucks to thirteen hundred bucks. So oh, that's okay. that's been the you know change. I mean, even if you look at twenty-four-seven, their yeah. average walk-ins have gone up and the average per check has gone up substantially from seventy-five yeah. bucks to about hundred thirty-five, hundred forty-five. Yeah. So, in fact, yesterday I was just browsing through Facebook and there was this. Uh, Lady who wrote about Amar Jyoti Restaurant in Saroji Nagar. Now we all know Amar Jyoti is one of those institutions of Saroji Nagar, and she was saying that they're, um, you know, uh, they're rocking. I mean, it's like they've never been out of business uh, because people are uh, happily ordering in, and this they're basically, uh, you know, reaching out to the immediate um, area around them, and they're doing very good business. Then you know, uh, within the uh, drivable distance is Moti Bag, and we know Moti Bag has now become a big cluster of people. You know, so there are a lot of these clusters which are growing around um, uh, Saroji Nagar. Now that this East Kidbai Nagar has come out, come up. So you know, a lot of these clusters. Uh, I yeah, think uh, Suresh, really, you've, yeah. you've answered your question, right? So that's that's yeah. the answer. So I can tell you, overall delivery has not gone up. Overall delivery has gone down, right? So if you look at, okay. if you see overall. Like if you look at Delhi and CR delivery, it's probably much yeah. lower, right? If you because yeah. the people like Domino's or yeah. you know all the the typical delivery brands, they themselves, yeah. you know, you would think, oh, they're delivery brands, they're going they're going to be fine, they're going to do much better. And in some cases, that would be okay. Like so, Vakas's case is very nice popcorn, by the way. Um, yeah. You know, he's making sense. It's like a finished product. But you know, for food, yeah. it's not that. But what you said is 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 hit the nail on the head. The clusters. So well, even everyone's now got local groups, right? So what started off. The lockdown kind of opened up. It was very mm. like cluster group. It's all like, what's happening? Mm. Who's my local guy? Mm. I can only deliver one kilometer. So what right. happened is awareness. So the 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 guy who does you know uh, this really fancy uh, Indian food and you know, Mughal mm. food, like which is Vasant Kunj, he's like nowhere in the picture. But the guy mm. who's doing just straight up tikkas and curries, right, and mm. like naan and like cheap and you know whatever, he's killing mm. it. You know, so right. his business has gone up by double. You know, right. um, and I think that a lot of people are helping a lot of brands also locally or ordering locally. They feel that it's closer, it's safer, it's mm-hmm. you know, it's it's it you know, it's um, it's easier to work with. So mm-hmm. I think that um, that is definitely happening in places where there's a large cluster of residences. I think those people are doing much better. Some places right. like maybe an Aero City where there's not much going on, those guys That's are right. not doing as much. You know. That's right. Yes. That's I think. Okay, so um, I think uh, we have covered all the questions that have been asked, and we've covered a lot of ground. Uh, but I will. Uh, okay, there's some more questions which have come up. Uh, okay, um, now uh, what is the potential for delivering raw and semi-cooked ingredients along with recipes to popular uh, of popular chefs in the cloud kitchen home delivery model? Uh, that's one thing. So, Raminder, uh, what are what are your thoughts on it? See, uh, it is very big model, but the only challenge yeah. is logistics, because none of the chains have logistics uh, model, yeah. frozen model. They'll only deliver in your box and then deliver it to your home. They don't have chill yeah. model. They don't have uh, frozen model. So that's the biggest challenge in India. Smaller things. Right. So it is a good model. DIY kits. It will grow. But how will you deliver to the home? That's the biggest challenge. Right. I think right. like frozen momo should reach you as as a frozen thing only. 
right not like a odd or odd or whatever so that is a so, uh, that's right you so got to many thoughts on this uh, the other uh, thought is that can we club cloud kitchen Uh, with another delivery model like uh, delivery of frozen meat products absolutely i think you just need to get the infrastructure right and uh, it's a it's anything from the same space you can do but i think like chef bakshi said you have to get the first thing right and then maybe venture out for first timers for a lot of seasoned restaurateurs they already have a lot of groundwork ready for them it's mm. easy to experiment but for first timers you have to get the product location and your uh, the whole model correct before you get into multiple things but i think one thing which is uh, brilliantly what uh, this question said was uh, with diy kits i think what comes to our mind is when delivery it takes away the experience of the restaurant away but i, mm. I think uh, it has to be a lot more engaging in terms of how the storytelling is i think packaging will play a very key role uh, mm. before because in restaurants uh, you click before you eat uh, right i think with packaging you will still have the opportunity the dy how the story telling around that product is i think will be a key differentiator in terms of uh, uh, and i think the marketing focus will be around and so uh, semi cook do it yourself and all that stories will mm-hmm. sell but of course uh, it's again yeah. it will have its own journey yeah so i i i see a lot of uh, celebrity chefs soon launching the diy kits will that happen yeah yeah absolutely yeah it will be a uh, it'll be a big hit yeah okay It's great so i think um, we have covered all the ground and we have covered all the questions uh, so uh, one uh, last uh, parting thought uh, from each one of you i begin with uh, vikas sir you know, what you know, sir, ravindra raised the issue of cold chain you know, it's really the bugbear of the industry do you think it there will be ever a solution to this well there is a solution is just that people got to look at from an investment standpoint of view there are these boxes which are available in the market where you know the the temperature loss is 1 degree every hour mm. or 2 degree max in case of hot food and in case of cold food it's just 0.5 degree it's just that instead of a conventional box they need to invest money in those kind of boxes mm. so somebody should have an intent and investments to do it and it's very simple जैसे हम लोग अभी हमने फ्रोजन की बात कर रहे थे रविंदर जी कर रहे थे और पवन भाई से पहले बताया था कि फ्रोजन है न्यू न्यू फ्रेश नाम सो और हम लोग तो अभी इसके लिए आए हैं सर कि फ्रोजन मोमो लेकर जो मार्केट में लेके आ रहे हैं एक तो आपने लॉकडाउन के टाइम में देखा देखे होंगे कि इतने सारे सेफ बने हैं अपने घर पे और उसमें से 90 परसेंट लोग मोमो बनाए हैं तो उनके तो उनके लिए भी फायदा है कि उनके घर पे हम फ्रोजन मोमो बना के फ्रोजन मोमो बना के फ्रेश फ्रोजन बना के भेज रहे हैं उनको हम और दूसरी चीज बहुत सारे रेस्टोरेंट है जो अभी कस्ट कटिंग कर रहे हैं ऑपरेशन में जो अभी तो हर रेस्टोरेंट में मोमो मिलते हैं लेकिन उसके लिए स्पेशल सेफ हायर करना पड़ता है स्पेशल स्टोरेज हायर करनी पड़ती है हाँ तो उनके लिए भी उनके लिए भी हम लोग क्या फायदा है कि भाई हमसे मोमो लीजिए अपना कष्ट बताइए हम आपको जैसा चाहिए वैसा मोमो दे रहे हैं तो ये सब सोल्यूशन लेके आ रहे हैं सर हम लोग और उसके उसके और उसके बावजूद जो हेल्थियर ऑप्शन है वेगन ग्लूटन फ्री होल वीट क्लाउड किचन फॉर क्लाउड किचन थिंग आई थिंक Mm. Absolutely. Yeah, cloud kitchens for Absolutely. cloud kitchens also. Yeah, Absolutely. exactly. That that's that's a very that's a very good thought. Uh, like a good mm. parting thought, you know. The uh, Sid, your parting thought. My parting thought is um, the best form of marketing is just getting the food right. You know, um, nothing can eventually whatever you do with. I mean, mm. everything matters. But honestly, if you just get that one thing bang mm. on, people will come back. People will talk about it. Word of mouth. i mean you know like even in groups over here we have like mm. somebody's had a burger and they mm. post they saying this is great the next day that burger is sold out for two days three days four days in a row you know so i think um i think just get the food right i think a lot of people take you know i mean don't take shortcuts do the right thing um and you know make sure that it's just delicious right absolutely no uh, ravinder um, and i add on to say uh, get your dynamics right everything 
Like whether it is food, packaging, your economies of running, or pack everything. Because end of the day, your passion goes for a thing when you see red at the bottom for three months. That's right. So end of the day, it has to green, become green as soon as possible. ऐसा करते है ना खोया मोमो में डालते हैं उसको हम मोमो बनाने की सोच रहे हैं मोमो में डालने की सोच रहे हैं and one over oh, london yeah. 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 see so anything anyway. which is fried anything which is fried cheesy with makkhan wala will sell in india come what me <laughs> it's it's sold in london too you know so it's <laughs> the thing is experience is different here correct <laughs> thank you so much i think i made a thanks a lot a really thanks. interesting discussion um a lot of takeaways from the discussion um you, you will see it on youtube from tomorrow uh i believe the facebook live has been uh, watched by a lot of people uh i think um, different talks is growing we're doing a lot of good things and we will keep informing you uh, about uh, what we do but uh, please spread the word about us uh, we are we are a friendly organization we are like a cloud kitchen ourselves <laughs> so, <laughs> so we are in the phase that uh, ravindra says we are in the working capital phase you know so uh, let us uh, uh let us all help each other and abhi bhi abhi bhi red button mein hai <laughs> <laughs> green karna hai usko yes we we'll, we'll still uh, swimming in the red but green bhi aayega kisi din mein acche din bhi aane wale hai <laughs> absolutely okay, thank absolutely you. sir yeah. thank you so much uh, uh, ruchi right, any so final much. words thank you everyone thank yeah. you ruchi okay, please one, we, ruchi yeah. our uh, colleague you know um, our partner in trying his uh, he always has the last word so please so guys uh, thank you so much a very big thank you to all the panelists uh, and mr uh, sorish on such an insightful session on the future of an industry that will give give to millions and uh, who are looking to an uncertain future uh, which never has been predicted so uh, uh, cloud kitchen uh, we believe the next future which is going to be uh, which is going to grow multifold uh tevin talks will keep on bringing uh, bringing such insights to your home uh, keep yourself tuned and follow us on youtube we'll be uploading uh, uploading today's uh, show there as well uh, stay safe thank you so much for joining in thank you all thank you thank you thank you, thank you. thanks guys thank you so much bye bye, bye. see you soon bye bye take care